everyone, welcome to Build. I'm your host, Brittany Jones Cooper. The series Charmed originally gained a cult following 20 years ago, telling the story of three sisters who were also witches. Now, Charmed is back on a new network and with a brand new cast, telling the story of three sisters who share one destiny as powerful witches who must save the world from eternal darkness. Today, I'll be joined by stars Melanie Diaz, Sarah Jeffrey, and Madeline Mantock, but first, a clip from Charmed. I feel so lucky to be the mother of such special young women, special in such different ways. I'm worried about you. What is happening? Great skirt. Her mom just died. I should be nice. This is some kind of prank. You didn't email, you didn't call. Enough, okay? Hello, ladies. What the? There is an explanation. You are the charmed ones. The most powerful trio of witches. Was mom a witch? Your mother's spellbook. I'm not doing this. Witches aren't real. You have to decide to accept your witchly fate. This is our legacy. So now we can figure out who killed her. You're better together. Your differences are your strengths. And nothing is stronger than your sisterhood. <laughs> Always remember that. Everyone put your hands together for Melanie Diaz, Sarah Jeffrey, and Madeline Mantock. How are you guys doing today? Good, Very how are well, you? Thank you. How are you? I'm good. You know, I've been seeing a lot of people talking about Charm. There's all, you know, a huge fan base from the original show and people are super pumped. You guys went to Comic-Con this weekend, right? Yeah. Got to meet with yes. some fans. What is sort of the, the energy around the show? A lot of excitement. Yeah. Kind of hopeful anticipation, I'd say. Yeah. People have been really supportive and lovely towards us. And um, I think, I hope they're as excited as we are to share it with the world. And how did uh, each of you get uh, brought onto this project and why was it something that you really wanted to be a part of? I'll start with you, Mel. Um, I uh, met with uh, Jenny Center Ehrman, um, Brad and our writers, Jessica and Amy. And um, I was a really big fan of Jane the Virgin. Mm -hmm. And so at first I was like a little skeptical. I was like, Charmed is such a big show. I, you know, I don't know. I was like, I don't know. Um, I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> um, and then their like their vision for the show was so great and like tonally, like they, I felt like they would get like the drama and the comedy um, and really like modernize it in a really cool way. So then I was like, okay, I'm in. Like, let's do this. Yeah. Um, well, I was. I originally wasn't meant to audition because I was attached to another show, but. Um, with a little bit of back and forth with my, my team and, and the, the people who do the show. They got me in the room, they loved me, and all the pieces kind of fell, fell where they were meant to. Um, and I was very excited about it because it's, I mean, we're in such a different time now. It's, it's definitely a different story. And um, I just, I'm excited to be able to use my platform to talk about things that are important to me. Um, I did a show about five years ago called The Tomorrow People, and one of our writers, Micah Schraft, uh, is now an EP on Jane the Virgin. So when they were looking for a Macy, he said to them, you should, do you know about Madeline? Um, so yeah, I owe him a great deal. That's, he's, he's why I'm here. And through the process, because your chemistry on camera really is what makes the show so great. I got to watch the first episode. Oh, thank you. So thank you. what was it like the first time the three of you got into a room and got to read lines? Like, could you feel that? Connection. I, mean, like, I I was saying like it's crazy that we didn't even it's test with each other. Kind of we insane. like you yeah. know all had our separate meetings and then when we met we were like oh wow like this is easy. Yeah, like, it could go like either way and it like yeah I know it, it kind of was just miraculous and we all get along really well. I guess that's credit to them. They kind of I think Felt somebody it. asked them this at Paley Fest like how <laughs> were you not scared to not have them you know meet before we shot? But I think they just you know they kind of got to know us separately and felt that it would be a good a fit. good fit yes. 
And I do love like the log line is stronger together. And it's like, you see you guys together. And you're like, yes, women can do that. That's why I wore this shirt I know, today, by I the know, way. I love it. I was like, yes, women move mountains. Right. And I was feeling really very energized after watching the show because there really is this strong feminist message throughout at least the first episode I saw. Um, so take me through what we can expect from the new charm because it does seem to be a little more reflecting what's happening in yes, our society. Very 2018 version. Um, and I guess that encompasses a lot of things, you know, Number one, you have people who look like us mm -hmm. uh, on the poster as the leads. Um, and so we'll get to see, you know, what it is to be a woman of color. Um, and then also this, you know, different elements, whether that's like the way that technology has changed, the fact that we have social media and how much that impacts people's lives. Um, and then politically, you know, we're covering things that are affecting people, be that we cover the, the Me Too movement in, um, in the pilot episode, which does continue. It's not just kind of like one and done because like we're living a political existence. So it's just sort of, it's going to be as part of the show as much as it, as it is our lives. Yeah. Um, I agree. Yeah, this idea of sisterhood, too, is really strong. I feel like in every episode and throughout the season, like, we are each other's biggest love interests, which I really love. You know, like, we have boyfriends and girlfriends that come in and out, but we really want to focus on, like, the unity that we have and, and, and how um, mm -hmm. hard sometimes it is to, like, you know, stay together and, and how much it's worth it. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I think it's really a breath of fresh air to see women supporting other women and banding together instead of women pitted against other women. Um, yeah, it's really important in the in the political climate that we're living in. And I feel very lucky to be doing this show with two really amazing women. And that starts at the top for you guys because you have this female production team, really. So how yeah. much does that impact then what you guys do? Knowing that behind the scenes you have these women who are thinking of the stories and can really speak to their own experiences as well. I mean, our writer's room is awesome. So like, you look at it and, and it's like the, like, United Nations in there. Yeah, you we know? have yeah. one white straight male. <laughs> yeah. He's the token. Yeah. Which is like, and, and, and like they always remind him too. They're like, you're the only white guy. Yeah, it's kind of it's awesome. Um, He's happy. Well, it means oh, he, like, he must be the best white straight male they could find. Yeah, I know. It's really yeah. exciting that like, I think our room really reflects um, people like us. And so I feel like I go to work knowing that like they have our back. Yeah. Yeah. And connecting the, the worlds a little bit, you, you mentioned the producers from Jane the Virgin. Uh, is Gina going to be directing an episode this season too, I heard? Yes. yes. How cool is that? I know. I'm Did really you already shoot that episode? Really exciting. No. Yeah. no. Okay. I think it's, it's 11. I think it's 11, yeah. It's 11. I'll be looking forward to that because yeah. I, I love seeing women break into new kind of challenges. So exciting. She directed some on, on her show that I liked and really loved. Um, so tell me about your characters. You play these three sisters, but I want I'll start with you and just tell me what we can expect from your character, Mel, and then maybe how she's different than the original series or things that we'll see. Um, I, well, Mel, her power is to stop time, and she is a, um, a feminist, a kind of like firebrand, a little hot-headed. Um, she's by far the most excited to be a witch. She gets this power, she's like, yes, like now I can change the world. Um, She's uh, she's kind of intense. Definitely intense. So, yeah, really intense, um, which I like. Uh, strong, and I guess that's pretty much it. Yeah, she's a lot of things. She, yeah. She's really and lovely. Sarah, who is Maggie? <laughs> yes, Margarita Maggie Vera. Um, she's a lot of fun. I've had like the most fun bringing her to life. She's um, she's a girly girl and she's pledging a sorority and that's very important to her, but she's also really smart. And I'm, I've just been mindful of not sort of falling into that box of, well, you're a pretty girl and you like clothes, and so you can't be all these other things as well. Um, so it's been really important to me to sort of make her multifaceted. And um, yeah, she reads minds and um, she's an empath. So those two kind of things go hand in hand. And that's a big through line in, in my storyline that I've been enjoying. And what about Macy? Yes, I play Macy Vaughan. So Vaughan, not a Vera, she's our half sister. Um, and Macy's a scientist. <laughs> she has a PhD in genetics, which I do not. Um, yeah, so she's, she's new to town. She's just moved and got a new job in the lab um, and discovers that she has this family, which is, those are some of my favorite scenes to play, kind of discovering the relationship with the sisters and learning how to be a sister when she really doesn't know. Um, and her power is telekinesis. Uh, which I think speaks, you know, she's like, she's got a really smart brain, so she can move stuff with it. Um, and I really enjoy the, the idea that her overthinking and her need to have answers all the time can actually maybe get in the way a little bit. So, yeah, that's Maisie. 
if you guys could have any of these powers, <laughs> which one would they be? Because I was trying to decide. I was like, I don't know what if I want to read minds or move things. I think I would like to move things. I, that's what I yeah. If I had to yeah. pick, like, move things. if I had to pick through these three, yeah, for sure. But I do think the stopping time is really cool. You could get so much done. Well, yeah. You wouldn't get anything done because I feel like I'd always be stopping time. <laughs> no, <it's> like, <laughs> time <laughs> you know what I mean? It's time to chill out. Yeah. I'm taking a nap. It's like I'm always napping. Yeah. Time just never gets to go forward. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's just me. Um, <laughs> I also was watching the first episode and thinking about all the choreography that you guys probably have to learn because you're fighting these monsters, but I they look maybe a little CG'd. Like, are they exactly. actually there? Like, what is that process like shooting these scenes? Well, the we, for, for some of for a lot of the demons, there's like either a proxy that comes in, which is, you know, someone who it, it's going to look different on screen, but it's there mm -hmm. for us to sort of yeah, to guide us and to guide the camera. Um, but sometimes we don't see anything at all. And so it's really using your imagination. Definitely a learning curve for sure. Like as yeah. an actor, I'm like, oh, my God, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm I don't know what I'm doing, but it's been fun. It's it's actually more physical. The show's more physical than I expected, which I really enjoy. I like mm -hmm. seeing like us being physical and like fighting things mm -hmm. like, you know. It's so. taking me back to that rehearsal that we did. Do you remember? Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> there will be good. There will be some bloopers for all of your viewing pleasure. <laughs> Give us a little insight into what went down. We we were trying to do I guess we were we were working on how we were going to rig a certain stunt. And um, mm -hmm. so we, it was like a workshop. It's a real, work, real and we are not real stunt trial people. and error experience. Yeah, <laughs> we tried our best and we <laughs> fell into great error. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's Pretty like the it. classiest way of saying that. <laughs> fell into yeah. great error. Yeah. I'm gonna start using that. Well, I was doing. Tri we tried trial and error. Yeah, I was doing Did a it. thing. Was that, I like would that be classed as a pun? I was gonna say. I think you might have just gotten your pun. I'm not very. She does really good puns, and I'm always being like, oh, I need to, I need to get my puns in. I do also love seeing three women of color up on that camera. Um, I would say that for me, that makes me want to watch the show even more, especially mm -hmm. in the time that we're living, just the importance of representation and uh, intersectionality and all those things. Like I think yeah. we get to see these topics covered from a different angle. Mm -hmm. So was that something that was really important for you guys too, to make sure that? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I would like us to have more of it still, because I'm aware that yeah. we're kind of a very similar tone. Um, which is fine. But for me, you know, I always say like, you know, if Macy has a family, like, you know, where are the dark skinned people? Like, yeah. and also I think it would be a really brave thing for us. To, I mean, it's not, it's not brave. It's just, I want us to, I have this thing of, you know, we can put different people in different situations to show the audience. Yeah, like that, that person can be the love interest. They can be the most desired person on this show. Right. And we have the power to do that. So I really want us, and I keep saying it, and I hope that they're listening. I want us to do that because why not? Yeah, you know, that's real. That's that's my life. You know what? What I what I think are the most beautiful people is not what I'm shown on TV most of the time. So mm -hmm. I just want to encourage a kind of like different narrative of what people see. And I, on that same note, I love that Mel's sexuality wasn't a big deal. Yeah, it's no. just who, part of who she is. But there's no, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's not major focus on it. Yeah. I mean, I I made that very clear. I was like, it can't be a headline. Like it, it's. It needs to just be like who she is, and it's just not like a big component of her personality. Or you know, she's a sister, she's a human being, and she likes girls. Like who cares? You know what I mean? And we're now twenty years after the original one debuted. Um, does that add any pressure for you guys? Are you guys just excited to continue the franchise in a whole brand new way? Yeah, yeah. Because we're playing different excited. characters. It. I don't feel a pressure in that same sense. Mm -hmm. I imagine it's the same as if you're playing a real person. Um, you know, when you're if you're taking on a role that somebody has already um, played for eight years, then of course that would be you know a totally different story. But um, I'm I'm enjoying getting to discover who Macy is, and I hope that the audience yeah. you know can do the same. I think it would be, it could be daunting if we were taking on the same you know same roles in a different time, but. Yeah, we are, we are all different, and I'm excited for the audience to get to know us individually. And I think a big, I'm excited to see who people connect with. Um, yeah, and, and uh, like you're a Macy, or you're a Mal, or you're a Maggie, or you're a combination. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, I think the pressure thing, I think, you know, we all like made it really clear that we're so thankful. Like we have jobs, we're working actresses, you know, it's an awesome show, and um, we're just, we just want people to embrace it in a new way. Hopefully yeah. that's, that's the idea. Also, that now I feel like the timing's even more perfect because there's all of this like 
these dark shows. Have you mm-hmm. known, like, between, like, America Horror Story, The Coven, and then yeah. Sabrina the Teenage Witch is coming back. Yes. And I'm like, people love this spooky stuff. It terrifies me. I never watched the original Charm because I was too afraid. Oh, my gosh. And I was afraid to watch the first episode of your guys's. But I love that it's it's got that intensity, but it's funny. And it's also yeah. light. And the sister bond is really, really fun. So I wasn't too afraid. Oh, that's good. good. Yeah. Do what? you guys watch spooky stuff? I'm, I don't. I don't I th- like to be scared. I think I like to scare myself, and then I do, and I'm like, well, now I have to sleep with the light on, so. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to watch scary movies when I was younger, so I think I have, like, a, you know, a fear of them, but I did see this movie called The Witch. Oh, that was, that was scary. That was really that was scary, scary, but it was also, up. like, really good. Mm-hmm. So I love, like, maybe I just it's really like so easy to do, like, slasher horror, and I just love, like, a good storyline in a horror film you guys do know now though this halloween is coming up that we're gonna see our first wave of charmed girls oh my god well, I mean, thought about that. That we, we have a very brilliant and exciting halloween episode as well oh. so i hope that people it's enjoy epic. that it's epic yeah i mean, I mean we shot it a while ago but it comes out on halloween so i'm really excited about yeah. that yeah, I can see a lot of trios pulling you guys off, so that'll be fun to see, I oh think. My that would be amazing. I'm sure they'll be tagging you on your Instagrams and stuff. You didn't think about, about that? No. I, I mean, I did, but like the fact that like it could actually happen is exciting. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? thrilling. Halloween will be even more exciting this year for you guys. Yeah. I'm going to guess. All right, now is a good time, I think, to go to the audience for a couple of questions. Oh, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm very good. I'm so excited to watch that oh, TV thank show. You. I'm a super huge fan of that kind of story, like magical and Harry Potter and stuff like that. Yes. And I really want to know if this, this story it's following the same line of the first one. I mean the original charm. And also I wanna know what is your favorite spell so far? Um no, it's not it's not following the exact storyline as the original. We definitely have like key points that are important to keep intact, um, such as the Book of Shadows and Power of Three. And uh, we have white lighters. There are a lot of little like tidbits that are are a constant. Um, but we're playing different characters, and so there are different journeys, and we hope that you guys fall in love with these characters in addition to um, the originals. Yeah. Yes, it's an addition. Hopefully it's not taking away. And I think you said what's, your, what's our favorite spell. Did I hear that Did right? you hear- Yes. Oh. My favorite spell, I can't tell you what it is, but it's the one in episode four. As difficult as it was in the beginning, it's the one. With, oh, with yes. It's a good one. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I think after we did our first take, we were like, wow. <laughs> there was a lot of wind. Wow. More wind than we had anticipated. Ever anticipated. <laughs> Is it hard to actually, I mean, you're basically speaking another language too when you're doing some of these chants and I stuff. I was, we were. We I are learned, literally. I best. was having lessons with a lovely lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was great. Yeah, she was she's super really helpful. Great. <laughs> Next question. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm so excited for the show because it seems so fun. I was wondering, what are some like behind the scenes? Like, what was the vibe like? Because it's such a fun show to be on. Um, we have a cast member called Rupert Evans. Um, he's our white lighter, and he's he so is funny. As funny as he is uh, in the show. Yeah. And we like, you know, it's long hours, but we we have a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. He makes a lot of jokes, and we laugh at all of them. He has the best stories. He really I mean, does. Th- they're kind of like <laughs> raunchy, but. Yeah. They're awesome. Yeah. yeah. And we're like, tell us a story. Tell us a story. I know. It's story it's, time with it's Rupert. saving grace. He's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's a lot of fun. The best stories are usually a little raunchy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And another question. He's lived. That man. <laughs> sure has. <laughs> Hi. Thank you Hi. all for being Hello. here. Thank um, you. So you were talking a little bit about bit about before how you know this is the second sort of version of charm so i was wondering if any of the original cast members gave you any advice or any you know yeah i mean i guess in a roundabout way i know rose mcgowan tweeted and she said you know she has no issues with the reboot and uh, i think she said fly girls fly which i thought was really lovely you know yeah. kind of it's a huge entity and she, certainly i i feel that there is Maybe not a responsibility, but and much like with anything you do, like I really want people to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. You know, we're working hard, and I think the scripts are good, and I so I, I hope people enjoy it. And then seeing her say "Fly Girls Fly" kind of made me go, "Do you know what? I I have to enjoy this too. Um, yeah, can't worry too much about what people might think. And I hope that when people can actually finally see it, um, that they that they will enjoy it. Well, I did enjoy it. 
I got oh, to see yay. it. And it was a really fun ride. And I think I think the fans of the original Trump are going to love this because, like I said, it's such a beautiful take on an updated story um, that I think a lot of people will connect with. So if you guys do want to check out Charmed, it debuts on October 14th at 9, 8 central on the CW Network. Guys, give it up for Melanie Diaz, Thank Sarah you. Jeffrey, and Madeline Mantoff. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>